Sung Yoon Lee is a professor of Korean studies at the Fletcher School at Tufts University and joins me now via Skype. Um, professor, good to have you with us. Who is to blame for the food shortages and lack of contingency for a bad harvest? Is it the, the regime of Kim or is it the international sanctions? When one thinks of North Korea, North Korea is such a weird amalgamation of medieval mores, buffoonish bellicosity, one tends to mock, one tends to patronize North Korea, and one assumes that the food situation, the pervasive hunger and malnutrition must be due to incompetence, a combination of bad weather, bad fortune, and perhaps even U.S. and U.N.-led sanctions. Simply not true. North Korea is an industrialized economy. North Korea is an urbanized, literate society. And for the first time ever in human history, an industrialized, urbanized, literate country underwent, suffered a famine, as North Korea did in the mid-90s. It's an entirely man-made famine. And over the past 20 years or more, North Koreans have been among the top in terms of food insecurity. 10 million people means 10 million North Koreans who are hungry means over 40 percent of North Koreans are undernourished, according to the UN, FAO, Food and Agriculture. Agricultural organization, the latest figures show over 43% of North Koreans, 43% mm. um, of the overall population are suffering from undernourishment. So this is all due to the perverse choices made up made by the regime. The regime has wealth. It spends over $1.3 billion a year on missile but, programs alone. Professor sorry, afford... so, Professor, sorry to interrupt, but what you're saying is that, it, it, what it sounds like you're saying is that this is a deliberate tactic by the regime to cause food insecurity. But why would they do that? Because presumably that would spark unrest and dissatisfaction among the population. Well, North Korea is also the, the most perfected totalitarian state in world history. The level of oppression, suppress, suppression of basic freedoms, the control over the population by the state is unprecedented. Why would the regime deliberately starve its population? And those words, a policy of deliberate mass starvation, the crime of, quote, knowingly causing prolonged starvation, are the words of a special committee under the United Nations that issued a report, 372-page long landmark report back in 2014 with documented evidence alleging that the regime is guilty of knowingly causing prolonged starvation. Why would the regime be so perverse as to do that? Because according to the regime, if uh, North Koreans are suffering constantly from hunger, that elicits sympathy. North Korea, North Korea can then argue that we are poor due to sanctions, so give us some money, and that leaves North Korea, the regime, of having to import food. It chooses not to import food. If North Korea spent $100 million a year, at most $200 million a year with which to buy food, not a single North Korean man, woman, or child would be hungry. Okay, uh, Professor Sung Yun Lee, thank you very much indeed for sharing your thoughts with us.